house should feel welcoming. This house feels like a tomb. With everybody gone. Whitney and Miles have left town. Simone's with TC and his family. And Vincent. <sighs> My poor troubled son. He's dead. <gasps> and listen to me. I'm talking to myself already. God, it's... It's lonely. It's almost unbearable. Not to worry, Mommy, you aren't alone. You just don't know it, yet. Marty, my darling boy, alive after all this time. I can't believe my father kept you from me. Don't worry, I will find you. Your father and I will search the ends of the earth to find you. And we will be a family again, just the way we were supposed to be. And your cousin Fancy will be out of the picture for good. Implant is holding at peak power. Grandfather, stop. I'm afraid you're gonna kill Fancy. Uh, I have to make your sister into a true crane again, or she dies trying. What is wrong with me? I'll be damned before I let Luis control me. Why am I so angry? Home in hospital? Put me through to the ER, please. Luis was only trying to help me. <laughs> A crane is born. <laughs> what the hell was that for? What was that? You just hit me. You've had it coming. Come on, let me try it again. Uh, no. Then back off. <laughs> Your creepy device works. Fancy just hit Luis. I got eyes, girl. Of course it works. <laughs> Best scientists in the world just jump. I call, and with this little device, I can control an implant that I had inserted in Fancy's nose so I could modify her brain waves. In other words, <laughs> I control all of her actions. <laughs> watch this, watch this. I'll give you a little bit of a jolt. Huh? Now you'll see how a true crane treats the lower classes. <laughs> oh, I'm a true crane. I mean. I don't need some weird implant to make me treat people like dirt. Well, well, yeah, well of course not, darling. You, you, you're not that kind. You know, you're, you're coming along, though. Yes, you are. Now, now like, Fancy is the one who deserves my punishment. And if she behaves herself, she gets my love. Where's this anger coming from? I said back off. I am furious with you. Got it? I've never seen you like this. <laughs> Get used to it, young man. Ow! Ow! <laughs> what, what's wrong? What, what's wrong? <sighs> Grandfather, wait, stop. You're giving her too much juice. Teresa, sweetheart, you're not answering me, okay? How did you know that Gwen had my son? I'm gonna tell you. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now. Watching Passions on the 101 only on Direct TV. I am Mackenzie Westmore from Passions.
and you're watching The 101, only on DirecTV. Such a waste. All this time apart. What did I do to ever deserve to have my child stolen away from me? Look at you, Marty. You've grown to be so big and strong. You don't know me. But I know you. I would know you in a crowd of a million children. You're so handsome. Just like your father. Oh my goodness. Grace. I've got to, I've got to call him, I've got to tell him. I've got to tell him I'm right. That sick Spike was telling the truth, that you're alive. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're coming for you. Your daddy and I are coming for you. Oh, it hurts. Betsy, what, what is going on with you? Right, there's something really wrong. I am calling the hospital. <sighs> Why don't you just shut up for a change? Blah, blah, blah. Are you in love with the sound of your own voice? What? Let's amp up the power. <laughs> Wait, what if her head blows up or something? Well, then we'll have a closed casket and a certain uh, team of well-known scientists will end up having to answer a lot of questions. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Luis. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's it, I'm calling 911. You need to be in the hospital. Get away from that phone! You moron. I don't need to go to the hospital. There is nothing wrong with me. Your absence won't cure. Well, all right, what about the headaches and the nosebleeds? Oh, for God's sake, Louise, stop wringing your hands like some old woman and just leave me alone. Well, aren't you gonna answer it? No, I'm not. Who is it? Doesn't matter. I said, who is it, Luis? All right, well, it's Sheridan, if you must know. Huh. Of course it is. It is always Aunt Sheridan. She's always calling you. She's always coming around to put her big nose into my business. You wonder what's wrong, Luis? Listen up. I am sick of Sheridan butting her way into our lives, and I'm not going to take it for one more minute. The reason that I knew you had a son uh -oh. is... Uh -oh. Hey, Sport, how you doing? Hi, Uncle Ethan. I heard I... you were sick. I'm fine. I'm going to be just fine. Hi, Mom. Hi, baby. Aunt Glenn. Hi. <clears throat> Who's the kid? Um, I, actually, I was, um, was going to tell Ethan that... Uh, yeah, I'm so, uh, sorry. Um, introductions are definitely in order. Absolutely. Little Ethan, this, uh, this is my new son. What do you think? What do you think? Isn't he amazing? This is our son. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's cool, isn't he? You know what, you can, you can be like a big brother to him. You know, I know he's a little scrawny right now, but you know, he's gonna get big and strong, and you're gonna help teach him everything that I've taught you. I'm talking baseball, football, even how to sled down Raven Hill without breaking your head open. <laughs> Ethan, there's, there's something that, that I need to tell you. Go ahead, shoot. <laughs> it's about little Ethan.
You're watching Passions on the 101 only on DirecTV. I can't keep dwelling in the past, so... This won't help me deal with anything. What do they say in those meetings? Oh, yes, there is nothing so bad that booze can't make it worse. Hmm. Okay. relax. Maybe it'll stop me from talking to myself. Don't worry, Mommy. Your sunny boy talks to himself all the time. Maybe it's in our DNA. But you ain't getting off that easily. Is missing from this picture. Mm, I know. There, the classic Hollywood cocktail, the Marilyn Monroe, booze and pills. <laughs> oh, mommy, you can lie to yourself all you want, but isn't sobriety just driving you crazy? Booze and pills were always your best friends. They could see you through when you couldn't cope. And let me tell you, once I'm through with you, you're gonna need your old friends. I'll make sure of it. I don't know why you ever bothered to get mixed up with me back in Rome. Share it in this, share it in that. She's always on your mind. But you know that's not true. Well, of course it's true. And I'm not gonna put up with it anymore, got it? It's okay. No, hey, no, it is not down. okay. She's right there waiting to talk to you, Luis. Look, look, see, look. It's going to voicemail right now, so we don't even have to deal with Sheridan, She okay? never gives up. I know. I know that. I mean, for months, she's trying to break us up, doing her stupid little antics. It hasn't worked. You were the woman that I want to be with, okay, Fancy? You were the woman that I love. <laughs> you are the woman that I love. Blah, 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 blah. Do you expect me to believe that? My God, give me a break. I'm not that stupid. You know, I don't even know where any of this is coming from. Oh, oh, it's coming from the heart, Luis. You know that boring place you're always nattering on about? You don't mean that. You know, I don't know what I mean anymore. All I do know is I don't care anymore. I am sick to death of this whole mess. I'm sick of Sheridan, and I'm sick of you. <laughs> oh, now that's a granddaughter a man could be proud of. <laughs> It's working. It's really uh, working. It better work. I spent a damn fortune on it. Isn't chaos delicious? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think, Grandfather. Yeah, I do too. Luis <laughs> and Fancy are finished. <laughs> You're watching Passions on the 101 only on Direct TV. Hi, I'm Eva Tamarga from Passions, and you're watching The 101, only on DirecTV. I know I put that scotch back in the cabinet. So these, these, these can't be mine. I, I got rid of all of mine. Hello. I'm 
father. Oh my God, Vincent. Mommy, is that you? Vincent, where are you? Mommy, Mommy, help me, help me, help me, please. Again, Luis, it's me. It's urgent. Please call me back immediately. <sighs> Don't worry, darling. You won't be alone much longer. Your daddy and I are coming for you. I don't want to miss another moment of your life. I'm going to confront Alistair and make him tell me where you are. I can't. Spike's right. If my father learns that I know you're alive, he'll have you moved and I'll never see you again. I just have to wait till you're safely in my arms and then I'll confront him. Then there'll be hell to pay. <laughs> oh, my darling. Now that you're getting older, it's time for you to learn your Bible. And a good place to start is an eye for an eye. Look, Nancy is furious with Luis. Oh, this is just the beginning. You know, it's just the beginning. Because Fancy will be under my control forever. Mm -hmm. Fancy, you don't know what you're saying. You're not yourself. Maybe I'm finally waking up. Fancy, come on, we love each other. Yeah, right, whatever. All I know is you're driving me crazy. I can't remember ever being this angry. You're making me develop ticks. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, I'm uh, turning off the device. I think we've done very well for one night. Well, they... <laughs> It's working. It don't stop now. Well, you were the one that told me to stop before, well, right? I know, but to be honest, I'm having the most fun I've had in years. I mean, Fancy is actually ending things with Louise. I mean, don't, don't stop now, Grandfather. Don't you dare order me. Mm. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that. You have to leave everything in my hands. I know exactly what I'm doing. But we have to go slowly. We can't have Fancy's behavior become too abrupt. Then Luis and possibly other people are going to think that there's an outside reason for that. Can't you just give me a turn? I mean, I bet I can make her do somersaults. <laughs> you know, your concern for your sister is so touching. <laughs> Look, I don't want <laughs> I don't want to kill her. All I want to do is control her. Look, she deserves to be punished, okay? The sooner, the better. I want Fancy to feel what it's like to be alone, to know what it's like to not have anyone to love. What do you mean, love? Love is for weaklings. <sighs> You're not a woman. Of course I'm not a woman. I don't run around showing up my affections. I hurt here, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. He was bad, I was at that. All of that stuff is Poppycock. Now, Crane, men and women are immune to all of that. You love me, don't you? Well, of course I love you, darling. I mean, you're family. And everyone said that you and Great Aunt Rachel. What? <laughs> Nothing, Grandfather. <clears throat> oh, good. I just, I just wanted to want you to know that uh, I do realize there are certain sensations, physical sensations in the bedroom that that help uh, relax people, uh, clear the head. Uh, look, if you want a man, I'll buy you one. 
is not the same thing. Okay, after what Fancy did to me, I won't ever know what it's like to be truly loved. Oh my God, you are not listening to me. Love, that whole thing is utter nonsense. Fine. How about revenge then? Mm. That's admirable in your book, isn't it? I want Fancy to feel the same pain that I feel. Now that is better. Look, just tell me the next time you're gonna do the session with the implant, okay? I want my chance. I wanna make her scream. Don't worry. Fancy will be in agony. Louise will be either gone or dead. All right. Here you go. Look, I don't... I don't know what's come over you, but I do know that you can't possibly mean everything that you've been saying. Now, listen, we've been through a lot. We never let Sheridan affect us, okay? Let's not start now. Uh, Sheridan. I know... I know that it is not easy for you. I will talk to Sheridan. I will try and convince her to back off. Yeah. Yes. No, wait, what? Just don't push me away. Look, I'm sorry if I came on too strong about wanting you to go to the hospital. Sometimes I go all caveman when I'm worried about people that I love. Yeah, I've noticed. You don't feel like you should go to the hospital, and I guess that is your decision. I don't necessarily agree with it. In fact, I think you should go to the hospital, but I'm just worried about you, okay? You had these crazy headaches, and your nose was bleeding, and you're certainly not acting like yourself. Yeah. I do have a really bad headache. Hey, listen. I'm gonna just give you some time alone, okay? I'm not gonna go far. If you need anything, you just call me. Why was I so angry? I feel so odd. What's happening to me? You know, Ethan is probably tired, and I think we should all go. No, you know, I, I actually, I have something that I need to say, and it's about little Ethan. What is it? I know how much having a son means to you. Well, yeah. You know how much I've always wanted a son. This little guy is a, he's a miracle is what he is. Yes, he is. I mean, for years, the doctors told you, right, that you couldn't conceive, and now you've been blessed with this baby. I hope you've given thanks. The gift of life should make all of us reassess old thought patterns. Ethan, may, may, I, may I finish? You know, what's the most amazing part about this is that I have the greatest advantage over every other father out there because of you. I tried to be like a father to you, right? Over the years, we've had a lot of fun. But I know the right and wrong things to do as a father now because of my time that I've spent with you. And I owe it to you. You've taught me how to be a good dad, buddy. I do my best. <laughs> yeah. Can I really risk it? Once I tell Ethan the truth, it may ruin our relationship. And maybe the one that he has with little Ethan. Teresa? Ethan. Well, Ethan, what is it? He looks, he looks pretty serious. Your baby. What about him? You like him, right? Sure, but it's weird. He looks just like my baby pictures. He could have been my twin when I was a baby. Passions on the 101 only on Direct TV.
Hi, I'm Mackenzie Westmore from Passions, and you're watching The 101, only on DirecTV. Don't you have your own cottage? You murderer. You killed your own son, Chad. I can't wait until Sam Bennett locks you up. Oh, no. Sam is after me? I'm all a tremble. He will get you. <laughs> what are you doing here in my kitchen? You have no reason to enter my house. You monster. I hate you. <laughs> Go ahead. Throw the glass at me. It gives the servants something to talk about tomorrow morning. What is it now, Sheridan? What horrible, dreadful thing have I supposedly done to you now? You know, you bastard. Don't lie to me anymore. Take control of yourself. What the hell's wrong with you? You always were a hysterical child. Now it's only getting worse as, as years go by. Well, if I embarrass you so much, then why don't you get rid of me? Why don't you just kill me like you killed Chad? Don't tempt me. You, you're sick. Lack of emotion is not a virtue. And the reverse is just as true. Now, what are you now? Look at yourself. You're a mess. Are you becoming a, an alcoholic? Is that it? Huh? Is that it? I mean, the Cranes are always proud of the way they handle their liquor. Even Julian rarely gets sloppy. I am not drunk. Although anyone who has been through what you have put me through uh -huh. deserves to drink. What a great alibi. Where is my son? Where is Marty? Your bastard. Rat is dead. Barbecue to a crisp. Yes, I heard him scream. Liar. You liar! If you survived scream. the train crash, then so did Marty. Where is he, you bastard? Where is he? <laughs> you sure you're not imagining things, buddy? No, the baby mm. looks just the way I did when I was born. That is that? Well, don't they say all babies look alike, right? You know what? He's, uh, he's, he's actually right. I was trying to remember your baby pictures, and I mean, you've changed a lot, but you're right. I think he does resemble you a little bit. You know what? He resembles you a lot, actually. That's, uh, that's very bizarre, huh? You're watching Passions on the 101 only on DirecTV. Oh, Vincent. When I saw you go over that cliff, I thought that you died. Thank you, God, you're alive. You just tell Mommy where you are, and I'll come and get you right away. Hurry, Mommy. I need you. Honey. Honey, I need details. I'll tell Mommy where you are. Vincent, please talk to me, honey. Tell me where you are. You never love me. What? Vincent, what are you talking about, honey? Of course I love you. I, I love you. I do. You let me die. You don't care about me. No. No, honey, whatever you've done, it doesn't matter. You're my son, and I love you. Now tell me where you are, please. Vincent, 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 please tell me where you are. Vincent, tell me where you are. Oh, God, please. Oh, oh, where's my son? What is all of this hysteria about? Why do you suddenly think that Marty is alive? What's happened that brings you to that conclusion? Isn't it obvious? 
exactly what I said. If you survived the train crash, then why can't I hope that Marty did too? Perhaps Beth as well. Marty is dead, and so is his mother, your half-sister. I am Marty's mother. You were his mother. If Marty survived, don't you think I would tell you? Why would I keep it from you? You've got to trust me. Marty is dead. He's as dead as dead can be. Bastard. Marty is alive. Why did I act like that? No, Lu Luis, don't go. No, of course I won't. I mean, not if you don't want me to. Look, Fancy, whatever I did, I'm really sorry, no, okay? No, I'm, I'm the one who's sorry. I don't know what that was all about. I, I lashed out at you for no reason. No, it's okay, it's okay. There's no need to apologize. You've been under a lot of stress lately, right? Let's see, I was almost executed, then Alistair came back from the dead, and, and he killed your uncle, and then Pretty showed up, and what else? Oh, right, Sheridan tried to break us up for the umpteenth time, so I understand you wanting to lash out at someone. Just maybe next time, instead of me, you hit a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me? Mm, no, it's okay. Come on, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. I'm back. Am I interrupting? Um, no, no, it's okay. You still look upset. Are, are you all right? Um, I don't really know. I'm just so emotional all of a sudden, and I'm overreacting to everything. No, it's okay. She's just, she's a little stressed out. Of course. I mean, it's no wonder after what you've been through. It, I mean, you always used to get your nosebleeds when you were stressed out. Yeah, she's right. I did. Yeah, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're probably right, but I, I think you're right too, Louise. I should go to a doctor just to make sure. No! Why shouldn't I go to a doctor? <laughs> you're watching Passions on the 101 only on DirecTV. imagined it. You just imagined it because you so wanted to be alive. Okay. Okay. I think I need to call Dr. Wilson. It's probably a very simple explanation. But I know that I just talked to him on the phone. I know it. Or maybe it's the guilt. Yeah, it's probably, it's the guilt because I wasn't there for him his whole life and then, and then I watched him die, so. Oh, God, I wish I could turn back time. <laughs> oh, if only I could have saved him. <laughs> Please. 
forgive me, Vincent. Please forgive me. Leave forgiveness to God, Mommy. You ain't getting none here. Yeah, if Fancy's not feeling well, why wouldn't you want her to see a doctor? I'm sorry I let that slip out. It's... it's me. You know, it's... it's this. Mm. It's just, you know, I've seen to, been to see every doctor in the world, and instead of helping me, they've made this worse. I just... I hate doctors. You know, it's... They tell you everything's gonna be better, and instead, it never is. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way, but it's understandable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, besides, Luis is right. You've been under so much pressure lately, and I'm sure it's nothing that a good night's sleep wouldn't cure. <clears throat> Hello? Uh, yeah, Luis, it's for you. Mm. Hello. Uh, sorry, Sam. I just turned off my cell for a minute. I'll be right down. Sam's downstairs in the living room. Said something's going on. See ya. Oh, thank God. For what? Well, a minute ago you were leaving and you didn't kiss me. Uh. I was scared I'd gone too far. You do forgive me for my behavior, don't you? Yeah, yeah, of, of course I do. Look, there's only one thing that you need to remember, okay? I love you. I love you too. I, I'm sorry, I behaved like a child. A uh, grandchild, maybe. Uh -uh. Don't worry, it's all forgotten. Mom. For long, it's not Luis. He's gonna lose you forever. Marty is dead, Sheridan. End of story. If you say so. I do. And you're wasting your time looking for something that doesn't exist. It's my time. If Marty is dead, then what does it matter? <sighs> do I have to spell it out for you? Anyone listening, any normal person listening to the conversation between you and me, will realize that you have a big mental problem. You've already been to the loony bin once. I just don't want people to think that you're about ready to go around the bend again. I don't believe I'm frothing at the mouth. Well, yet. don't play games with me, girl. You should be very, very careful because someday someone might want to lock you up for good. What, so is that why you want me to back off just to save face? What are you talking about? What do you think you know? Nothing. I just... I don't trust you, and for good reason, I might add. I have no reason to lie to you, Sheridan. And please, don't give me the waterworks. You are evil. What do you keep looking at? Nothing. What's on that laptop you keep looking at? That's strange. You're, you're right, Sport. Now that you bring it up, I, I can... I can see the resemblance. I remember what your baby pictures look like, and you're right, you two look a lot alike. Lisa? Ethan, there, there's a reason. Oh, don't, don't be silly. Don't be silly. You know, all babies look alike at this age. You already said that. I know, because it's true. Actually, that's not true. I mean, I've had five, and I've never thought that. They're all different. Each baby has his or her own identity. Although sometimes the, the family resemblance is very obvious. Yeah, well, not in this case. <laughs> don't tell me what I know or don't know, please, Gwen. The baby clearly looks a lot like Lil Ethan did as a baby. Well, I was right. I, if I didn't know better, I'd think these two were brothers. I mean, look, look, at, the, look at the nose. <laughs> Even the, the chin and the... The eyes. Teresa, you can see the resemblance between these two, can't you?
Yes. I see the resemblance. Little Ethan and your baby look like brothers, Ethan, because they are. You are little Ethan's father. Tell me if Marty is alive! The 101 hit the streets to find out what fans really want to know from the cast of Passions. Take a look. Hi, I'm Rachel from Astoria, Oregon, and my question is for Liza, who plays Gwen. Who inspires you most as an actor? Who was my inspiration to become an actress? Well, I definitely have to say my mother. Uh, as most of you know, um, my mother, Susan Lucci, on All My Children, and I had the, the great privilege of growing up in this business. Passions on the 101, only on DirecTV.